Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today's video, uh, I wanted to show you a couple of products I picked up for my hiker. Um, it's a company called Blue Ridge Overland Gear. And they make some fantastic pouches, medical kits, and accessories for overlanding, for camping. Just some really fantastic products. So I'd like to show you what I picked up. I first heard about Blue Ridge Overland Gear from uh, watching a couple of YouTube videos and I am a firefighter EMT by trade and the first thing I picked up let's move these out of the way is their medical kit so their medical kit this is the medium model uh, it's got a huge velcro patch on the front so you can put your own patches and you've got molly webbing in the front so you can put things to quickly access. So I put several sets of gloves in here. Um, I carry maybe a few more advanced things than the average joke being an EMT. But uh, the nice thing about these bags, molly webbing across the top, it's got a great handle and you can also hang it, hang it in the open position. So as you can see, all these pouches are removable. That's the best thing I like about them. So being that they're removable, I could remove a whole bag. This is my vitals bag, stethoscope, blood pressure cup, so on. And then I've got airway and trauma bandages, emergency bandages. I've got tourniquet kit, and then I have some quick clot, some more tourniquets, and some tape. So I carry all this in here. I don't necessarily carry medications and so on, just your average ibuprofen, Tylenol, so on. I don't keep it in this med bag. What I opted to do instead is put it in a size like this. So I'll show you this all filled up. So opted to have my own separate pouch, different color, and we're gonna put store it in a different location in the trailer. But this will carry everything from ibuprofen, Tylenol, any kind of pain needs to sleeping aids, um, nasal spray, um, Tums, all that kind of stuff. Anything you would need possibly while you're out camping, uh, put in this bag. Nice thing is they use the nice YKK zippers. The zipper pulls are big, oversized. They open up real well. <laughs> I love the idea of the Velcro. It attaches to anything. My truck here um, is, I got a fully carpeted bed. So if I stick this down, it actually sticks to my to my truck. So I can just stick it to the inside bed of my truck and it's secured. If I need it, I can just grab it, bring it out to anybody I need to. So in the top of my hiker, this is my stake and strap bag, but I found that I'm going for a key set of stakes every time. If we're not having a lot of wind, there is a set of stakes. These are the MSR Groundhogs. And what I did is I took some, I think it's uh, 3 16 blow cord, and I'll link it down below. And uh, I put a slip knot in it, tie it around this end, and then have a carabiner on the end. So you literally can just let go of this. It unwinds itself. And I'm ready to go. This goes in the loop of the top of the awning. And you stake it in the ground. Boom. Done. Four stakes for not windy conditions or very light winds. Works perfectly. So I wanted to have a home for these guys. Because when I roll the rope up um, on the stake itself... I don't want them to get tangled up with the rest of the gear inside this stake bag. So that's where Blue Ridge Overland gear comes in with a pouch. So I'll move this guy out of the way. So I don't know if I said before, but this is 12 by 6 by 2. That's the size of this one. And we'll link it down below. But uh, yeah, this one I want to use for dedicated stakes that I get to often, and I can have it right in the top of that box that I just showed you. So let's fill it up. I've got this ready to go. And this one, I'll probably leave 
in the truck, Velcro to one of the sides. So we talked about the medical pouch, the medium sized, we talked about the smaller pouches. And um, now let me show you what I also added to the collection. So we'll put this out of the way. So these are the smaller ones, the steak bag and the one for all my supplies. And those are 12 by four by two in size. Now they do make a slightly bigger one. So this one is a 12 by six by two. So 12 by six by two inches thick. So slightly bigger. And it's just a little bit more volume. It still has a Velcro on the back. Um, nice, easy pull zippers. I really like this. What I use this one for is I put all my odd clips so clothespins and these clips and then I've got some miscellaneous ones with magnets on them they stick to my hiker absolutely love these too so I'll put those in the description if you're curious I've done many videos on the accessory stuff but so we got one for steaks one for all my bag of clips it fits all of them perfectly and the last one I got is the travel camp bag. So to show you kind of roughly how much stuff I can fit in the travel pack, 12 by 12 by four, I've got two pair of 511 tactical pants. I got a couple of pairs of socks. I can roll up one t-shirt here. And I got three more I can set on the top here. <laughs> there guys without any kind of problem there's probably you could probably put a couple more items there on the top of it without a bit of issue but it's built well love the material molly webbing is a nice touch if you want to hang it off something connect it to something they don't have the velcro on the back per se but you've got this loop for carrying it and they provide a little Velcro panel here if you want to label this, you know, something, clothes, raincoat, equipment, however you want to do it. You can put some kind of tag or label on the outside. The other thing that I put in here is I emptied this out one time and our raincoats, we had a, a drenched rainstorm and I ended up taking the raincoats and putting them in here because while we were traveling then, the raincoats could dry out with the, having the, the mesh and the air out, which is pretty handy. So this is the last one I bought, it was a travel pack. So as you can see, I really like their stuff. It's pretty awesome. So I got the travel pack, got the large pouch, got the two smaller ones, and the medium medical bag. So, so as far as pricing, uh, go to blueridgeoverlandgear.com and you can check out all their prices of everything that they have. Um, I did purchase some of these on Amazon. They do have an Amazon store. You can go there and purchase there or you can purchase directly from their website. I've done both. So you can check them out. Any questions, guys, leave them down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. And we will see you on the next video.